wants you to begin to cause heaven to come down yes. in your in this hellacious situation right. god wants heaven to manifest in your life god wants to manifest i was i was going to get our, our little drinks this morning and uh as i was going there all i could think about uh was this thought was heaven on earth yeah. that heaven on earth that we can have heaven on earth yes. even while all this stuff is going on that's now right. there's the, we uh, why we never see the people that's up there you know because because in case we want to prophesy to somebody you know in case you somebody up there i just want to make sure we see the people that's up there in case a word come forth glory to god yeah. that uh, okay we got we got we starting to see it now there's ashley right there mm -hmm. yep yep and everything <laughs> uh so listen ashley you got to stand on that word and yeah. that word you got like yesterday um don't 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 negate it don't just don't right. just push it aside but press into that mm -hmm. word that word you got yesterday um that word you got yesterday is uh is is so important that uh it's so important that you don't let the burdens and the things that tried to burden you down in, in the past yeah. and certain things get get back to you uh don't let the don't let the aggravation come back on you don't let uh frustration come on you don't let that happen because uh that word you had god was god is very concerned about your future yeah. i'm and they and god listen to me uh, ashley god is even concerned about listen to this your your, your children too he's he's worried about he i'm not worry he's concerned about your children and so god wants god wants uh god wants to do a work in your family mm -hmm. you hear me he wants to do mm -hmm. something in you and your children but what he does in your children is going to start out with you and god wants to work some things in you and i see him want to work the things in uh anaya uh he want to work some things in um in uh you know uh, uh, ashton mm -hmm. and in uh in and asia. in the continent of asia now and in asia you know uh now you can have another child called africa you okay. know <laughs> no, okay. but now they have one called Antarctica. Yeah, you know, but now, but seriously, but 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 he wants to work, and I see it. You remember the script? The scripture says the blessing comes from the head on down, right? And, and God wants to begin to cause a ble cause that blessing, and cause that anointing, and cause that change, and cause some things that happen in you, and it begins yeah. to go down and filter down supernaturally, um, in your daughters. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm, I'm in your daughters. God, 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 God wants your children. God wants your children to be raised up and be like the daughters of Philip. You hear me? I'm telling you, God wants you to have prophesying daughters. And so, and so, 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 so it's important that you let God work on your character. This is a season where God wants to take you and cause you and work on your character. You hear me? And so let him work on your character. Let him work on the inside. Let him work on the stuff you don't want him to work on. And some of it will come through leadership. Some of it will come through divine intervention. Some of it will come through this you know he just would let you know about it and, and shine a light on something in your life that he wants you to change or he's some ways he wants you to change and so so remember the bloodline of jesus god wants the bloodline of jesus to be more real in your life uh than even your own own natural bloodline uh, i'm telling you he wants to change he wants to change the temperament and change the uh condition of the bloodline glory to god thank god for your blood thank god for legacy i thank god for mine however However, God wants the blood of Jesus to have yes. preeminence. Yeah. And he wants that he wants he wants that a legacy <laughs> of the blessing of God and the blessing of Abraham that comes down on the gen, uh, on the uh, on the Gentiles by faith as we receive Jesus Christ mm -hmm. wants that trickle down in you and do a work in your character do a work in your spirit do a work in your heart Hallelujah. that you begin to change now listen I I I I I, I, I meddle I meddle a little bit he wants to, to change the way you uh, your approach on things he wants God mm -hmm. says he wants to change the way you handle things god says he wants to change the way you uh you work on things and you and, and how you approach even people god says he wants you to change on how you do stuff i just whatever it is he says glory those type god. of things he wants you to change on those type yeah. of things glory to god hallelujah and so 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 as you let him change the inside of you and as you let him work on the inside of you he begin he'll begin to work not only in you but i see him working in your three blessings your your three Glory daughters of Philip, your three Hallelujah. prophesying daughters. Hallelujah. And so it's so it's so important that you let God work in your life. Hallelujah. Yes. Glory to God. So Glory. so so but I Gosh, see I God. saw that heaven, God want to manifest heaven on earth. Glory to God. I remember when God, when um I was still kind of a newbie in the Lord, 
And when uh, I began to, uh, you know, sense that God wanted to make more of my, uh, you know how we're so, we, we sometimes we're really uh, proud and confident of our families and mm -hmm. our bloodline and, and relatives and things that, ways that we have like our family. So that's kind of how my family is. And when God began to work in me to be more, uh, I identify more with the ki with my kingdom bloodline mm -hmm. than I did with my biological or natural bloodline. Mm -hmm. That was kind of interesting to me because I felt like I had to, at first I was thinking, what, you want me to totally just give up my family? And it was like, no, not that. However, the first thing I identify with is what the word says about me. So I had to begin to uh, declare what the word said and act like what the word said and identify with that more than I identify with my natural family, if mm -hmm. you get what I'm saying. And um, and from then on, I, I did that, but I didn't have to lose mm -hmm. what I had for my family. I just began to, it helped me actually bring out the better well, parts. Well, you know, okay, you say your family is, your family's known to be uh, uh, confrontational. Or uh -huh. say if your family's known to, 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 to uh, what's the word, be to talk, to say stuff, to be uh -huh. hold, not hold their mouth and uh, or whatever. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah. That your family is known to be um, straight up and, yeah. and you know. Very straightforward yeah, in straight, their words. That's yeah. just how my family is and everything. And so so that's good to be that way. Yeah. However, the Bible says be slow to speak and be yeah. swift to hear. So even though, uh, be, be uh, yeah, be slow to speak, be swift to hear. Because, mm -hmm. because, uh, because you, you know, that's the way you get understanding is by hearing. Right. But, but the thing about it is even though your family is known to be uh, uh my family don't hold no punches that we how we just say it how we feel it okay. now god don't want you to do that though right. he wants you to use wisdom in your in your speech That's right. so sometimes he wants you to hold your tongue and and uh and, and be quiet and pray about something or just hold your tongue yeah. and, and 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 but your family's bloodline your family will want to, your your legacy that thing in you from your yeah. family will want to make you talk and say something but god will be like no you got to identify with the word about you more mm -hmm. so than your family and God yeah. will say huh, yes. uh, 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 hush and then you got to be quiet and everything know, so that's know, just one yeah. example I thought about yeah. because you got people that you know like they say my yeah. family we tell the truth we just tell, we just mm -hmm. say it like a T.I. is T you know and so 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 sometimes God will um cause you to have a different way than your family does and mm -hmm. and there's nothing yeah, against your right. family it's yeah. just that it's a higher way than uh, God's is. ways are not our ways they're higher right. so we we gotta come up, you know. Above it. We gotta yes. come up, you yeah. know. Yeah, yeah, we gotta come up. Um yeah. uh, that's what it talks about. Um as a matter of fact, let me let me read it. Let me read this. Um that's why we flowing today, y'all. Right. Um and I, I, I you know, as if you up here, I want y'all to comment. <laughs> I want y'all to comment. I want y'all to comment. Listen, comment when you get up here and everything. I'm not trying to I'm not trying to work up a, a prophetic word, but mm -hmm. comment when you come up here. So I Burns is up here. Uh and, and Burns, I, I hear the Lord saying, I hear the Lord saying, you have to make sure, you have to make sure you stay in faith, huh? I, I hear him saying you need to stay in faith and he said because i'm going to give you back everything that you lost uh -huh. save the lord everything that you lost everything that the enemy tried to take from you i'm giving it back oh. he said i am your husbandman i am your husbandman i am your husbandman i am your husbandman oh. he he says, I am your husbandman. Burns, God says, I am your husbandman. And yes. I will take care of you. And I will show you my provision in a way like you've never seen mm. before. I will show you my provision in ways like you uh, like you have not experienced. And the testimonies that will come out of it will cause others that are widow, uh, that are a widow, and cause others that does that don't have income uh, to begin to be encouraged and uplifted because they will see my glory. And they will see my provision in you. I am going to use you as a sign and a wonder. Mm -hmm. I am going to use you to show oh, people God. my goodness. I'm going to use you to show people that I am uh, the provider, that I am the way, that I am, that I am in control of every situation. And he said, God says, oh, uh, no, no, no. I, God says you will not die before your time. God says you will fulfill the number of your days. God says you will live out the full number of your days.
days and God says you're not going to grow old and decrepit. God says yes, there's things that will decay through time, through the natural body but the Lord says that he, he's, uh, he's renewing your strength and even as I speak right now, I declare that the word of God will, that the word of God uh, it will, will, will well up inside of you, that the word of God in you will stir, will stir you up in your spirit man, that the anointing of the Holy Ghost will begin to come upon you, that just like Moses, that the Bible says his eyes wasn't dim and his natural forces was not abated. God says that you don't have to grow old and grow and grow decrepit. You don't have to grow old and grow slow. He says you can still have that vigor and that vitality like you had back in the day. And God says, believe me for it. Believe me for it because I will renew your strength as the eagles. I will renew your strength. I will give you that. I will give you, I will give you that, uh, that I will give you the strength, but I hear the Lord says, I will give you not only the resolve, but I will give you that pit bull tenacity mm. again, like you used Lord. to have. I will give it to you. And God says, don't look at, don't look at what the doctor says. Don't just be, don't focus on what the doctor says, but God says, stand on my word mm. and see my glory in you. And don't let nobody, don't let nobody drain you and, and call and, and leech off of you and pull down that which mm. I'm trying to build up on the inside of yeah. you. So yeah. I am your husband man, and I will reward you and I will provide for you and I will make you strong yeah. and renew your strength because you don't have to grow old and grow slow and decrepit. But God says he's going to cause your feet to be like hind's feet. Glory to God. I see you. I see you running through troops and leaping over walls. Hallelujah. So God says be, be encouraged this day. Be encouraged this day. Be encouraged. I know that he know what you've been going through. He know what's been going on in your life. And God says he's got you covered. Glory to God. I hear the Lord saying to you also, Prophetess Burns, that he is delivering you from weariness. I see weariness um, following you. And it looks like a like a, a black hand or something. It, it keeps trying to grab a hold of you. Mm -hmm. And then it'll it'll get on you, but you manage to kind of slip away from it and it loses its grip. But then it tries to come back again and it's mm -hmm. just trying to grab a hold to you. But the Lord is saying that it shall not come upon you. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. That it will not overtake you. Mm -hmm. That you overtake it. And glory to God. And there will be a time where it is totally dismissed from you, where it's not even in in uh, in the hindsight where you can see it in the rearview mirror. Well, glory well, to well. God. So you just stay tenacious in God and continue to press. And as you press, I see the Lord giving you joy and, and giving you strength mm -hmm. that since uh, since the passing of, of, of Elder Burns, you have not had uh, your joy has not been full. It's like just as it begins and something tries to come and steal your joy. Glory to God. But if the thief be found, hallelujah, yeah. he's got to restore seven times what he stole. So you get ready for seven times, not just the joy that you had. Well, seven well. times that God doesn't want to take you back to where you were. Uh -huh. The victory and the true testimony is when you surpass yeah. where you were before, when you thought you had it going on. God is going to take you beyond that so get ready and make room yeah. prepare glory to God for God to fill that space that has been empty where that void we has been we I want you to, 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 to lay hold of lay that hold. promise <laughs> and stay in stay in your faith and stay in in hope continue with that expectation yeah. do not settle continue to let your expectation uh, be before you and be before God and God will not he will not uh, he will not allow you to be disappointed mm. all right it, it will it's coming to pass it will happen it will come to pass I, I, I yeah, diabetes yeah, sugar diabetes I'm calling out sugar I'm diabetes um, uh, I'm yeah, calling out I'm sugar diabetes. Diabetes. diabetes listen the enemy tried to give me a, a bad report, but I'm drinking this. I'm drinking this. Not giving the shout out to the company, but I'm drinking this uh, energy drink. But it's sugar free and everything. You gotta start somewhere. And, and, and the thing about it is this: I hear the Lord saying this yeah. that some of you are you are messing up your healing because mm. of your eating. Mm. Uh, listen, God says some of you all are messing oh. up your healing because of your eating. One of my favorite oh, teachers of healing is uh, is is um, uh, uh, Francis Charles and Francis Hunt, Francis Hunter. They gonna be with the Lord now, but they were they did healing schools, healing classes, mm -hmm. and they they taught thousands how to heal the sick. 
and um, they got a book on how to heal the sick. I love it. And um, and but she had diabetes, and so um, it was her pancreas or uh, mm -hmm. is it the pancreas? Yes. And God blessed God. She believed for her healing. God gave. She claimed. Uh, listen, y'all. She claimed a new pancreas or whatever it is that messes mm -hmm. up for that. Yeah. And she claimed a new one. And she said she believed God and she stood on the word. And listen to what she did. She stood on the word, believed God. She took sugar out of her diet. Yeah. Uh -oh. And she went to the we doctor. Somebody right she, there. <laughs> she went to the doctor, and God said, "I mean," and the doctor said, "You got. It's like you got a new pancreas." He said, "It's like everything is new, and you don't have your numbers are perfect and everything." And the reason why is because number one, she claimed her healing. Hallelujah. She claimed her healing that Jesus said, by the stripes of Jesus, you are healed. Listen, yes. claim your healing. Claim it. And then she made the natural adjustment she right. had to make. You right. know, we we miss it because right. we claim I'm healed and then we still eat everything we don't right. supposed to eat. Right. No, right. no, 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 no. Your healing is, yes, is, is, is guaranteed in the word. But we mess it up because we keep wanting to yes. eat stuff that we just need to let go of. And that means we're opening doors yeah. for things to return or to remain. It's one thing you can be on here. You can be in a service. You can go to a, uh, well, you used to could go to a, a revival or a healing meeting or a conference and people receive. But when they leave, when they go home, mm -hmm. they don't hold on to it. It's gone. And you wonder what happened. Oh, it was, it didn't happen for real. Yes, it did. And, but it needs you. It's going to take you to maintain. And that's one of the things that I know that we are called to help people and to teach you how to maintain how to hold on to your miracle, yeah. how to hold on to your, uh, to your blessing, how to hold on to your healing, how to hold on to your marriage, how to hold on to a relationship with your children, how to hold on to your, to your mental balance and stability, how to hold on to the breakthrough. Cause see, God will give you the breakthrough, but you've got to learn what it is you're supposed to do to keep it. And you are the one that is, that is losing it. It's not the prophet's fault. It's not the minister's fault. It's not the, the man or woman of God, whoever it was that, that spoke into your life, it's not their fault. There's something somewhere that is, that is continuing to cause a breach and that is opening up. God will, will cause people to speak to situations that have been there a long time mm -hmm. and been like those dry bones. Mm -hmm. Because in that scripture, he says, and lo, they were, they were very dry mm -hmm. to let you know that it had been a long time mm -hmm. since moisture had been there, since life had been there. But yet God sent the prophet to speak speak the word my, and to speak Ezekiel yes 37 yes and to speak the word and the the dry bones not only did they live but everything that had been dried out had to come back to them in order for them to be sustained mm -hmm. to bring life and God, that's what God wants to do in all of us. But we're doing things that cause that life to be interrupted. So, yeah, we got this. Let us know you up here. Let us know you up here. We want to know. We want to hear from you. Make the comments. Whether you're on the watch party or on the live, make comments. Just say, I'm let here. Us, let we us may us have know. a word for you. Amen. Amen. Because you got to speak to those dry bones. You got to speak yes. to your, Ezekiel 37, it says, it says, he says, son of man, mm -hmm. he says, say unto these I dry I bones and things. everything. And he says, he says, uh, yeah. speak to prophesy to those dry bones and you yes. got to prophesy to your situation yes. once when the prophet prophesies you get your miracle or you get your healing mm -hmm. you get it when you talked about the service yeah. or you get prayer yeah. and you get it once you That's get right. it now you got to agree with god now, okay. how can two walk together except they agree? Confession means to say the same thing, yeah. to agree with. So when you, after you get the healing, after you get prayer, even yeah. watch this. It's now you, when you come to come to get come to get prayer, you got to come in faith. You got to come to faith and receive. And so mm -hmm. when somebody pray for you, they lay hands on you in the name of yes. Jesus, be healed. You're not waiting to feel different. Right. No, no, no. That's because right. if you're waiting to feel different, you're not in faith. You're in your feelings. Oh. What you do is in the name of Jesus, be healed. You, right. you got to now thank you, Lord, that I am healed. That's right. And now you just got to stand on. Thank you. I am healed. Now, watch this. You don't even have to go back to nobody else to get prayer about this thing because mm -hmm. you got prayer about it. And now you thank you, Lord, I am yes. healed. Now you got to agree with the word. Yep. So now you only speak what, what the, the word about that healing. Yes. Thank you, Lord, that I'm healed. I thank you, Lord, by the stripes of Jesus, I'm healed. You're not thinking about 
about pain. You're not thinking about none of that stuff. You just on the word. Thank you, Lord, that I'm healed. And you do that because you are healed. Yes, you and, are. And what happens is then you adjust your natural life. Yes. So that you so that it yes. so that you don't do things to conflict with your healing. That's right. Like like for like diabetes. If you pray about that and pray that you get healing for diabetes, uh, everything, uh, uh, because it, it people say it can't be cured. No, I we've seen it. We heard yes. that yes. it's been cured before. People mm -hmm. got healed and then they took sugar out of their diet That's and right. they stayed healed from it. Yes. And so they stood on the word. So once you come, when you get a prophetic word, you got to then agree with that word. And Lord, thank you that with for that word. Thank you for it. You have to do that. Who's that right there? Uh, yeah. uh, um, uh, you, you, Sophia. Sophia. Yes. You've met her before. You I met, met her before. Uh huh. In Virginia. Was she living they in actually, Virginia? We're actually, uh, relatives. Does you know, she live they in live in North Carolina. Oh, we was talking about Virginia and y'all Virginia is many, many folks don't realize how powerful and nice Virginia is. That's right. Virginia Beach, Hampton, no, uh, Chesapeake, Virginia, Virginia Beach, uh, Norfolk, Virginia, Hampton, Virginia, uh, Newport News, Portsmouth, uh -huh. uh, uh, Suffolk, all, all, the, all yeah. those areas of Virginia, all, and they, they all cities all together. Yes. But yeah. a lot, because yeah. they don't have no major sports teams, you don't think about it. Mm -hmm. I've been thinking about Virginia a lot. Yes. God want to do, a, if you in Virginia, get ready, God want to do a revival. Ah. He want to cause a revival in Virginia. Mm -hmm. God want to do something special in Virginia. I feel something My going God. on in the Hampton, uh, Newport News, Virginia, Virginia Beach area. God's going to do something real Lord special God. in that area. I'm telling you. I'm, I'm contacting you, everybody I know in Virginia. Come, I see revival in Virginia. I'm telling you. I say, I'm saying ah. something about Virginia. But but uh, but you got to stand on that word and believe God. Now, that lady from Virginia, I mean, that's from, a, yeah, Sophia. from North Carolina, mm -hmm. Sophia. And mm -hmm. Sophia, some, what, flowers? Okay, flowers, yes. Okay, so flowers. And, uh, you know, I, I was thinking about somebody. we know known a couple of people. Yeah. Anything flowers. I was wondering yeah. if it was somebody related yeah. to them and everything. I don't think so. And so, so, <laughs> Sophia, I'm going to tell you this. Mm. Hey, 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 hey. Uh, God, God, God did not give you the spirit of fear. Yeah, uh, sure, Sophia, yeah. God didn't give you the spirit of fear, but of love, power, and of a sound mind. And, 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 uh, and don't let anything and don't let no situations intimidate you. Uh, oh. glory to God. Mm. I see, I see a hand and I see, I, I see a hand pushing you. I see something Push pushing you. You ever know, you know how when people, how back in the day, you'd be somebody like, I dare you go do this. Uh -huh. And they'd be like, huh, oh, and they'd be pushing, go ahead, do it, yeah, do it. Yeah. And I see God fight, pushing boy, you into push. something. Mm. I see God pushing you into something. Mm -hmm. and, 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 uh, and what he's pushing you into is something that is not, that is, that is not easy in the natural. That is, that it may be, uh, uh it may be, uh, uh, um, it may be a little bit of a of a uh, some resistance in the natural. There may be it may be some uh, impossibility in the natural. And, and but God is pushing you into something that uh, that that is may not be easy, but you are equipped to handle it. Mm. Whatever it is, you are equipped to handle it. Mm. God, God has something for you that he's pushing you into and he's pushing you into it because you are able to do it. You are well able to do and to handle mm. what God wants you to handle. And I'm telling you, don't, don't, don't draw back. Don't, don't move back. Don't, don't, uh, don't, don't stay. Don't, no, don't, don't, uh, pull back from it because I, I hear the oh, Lord say no God. fear. God. And, and, uh, and he says, you can handle it. You are well able to do this you are well able don't be like the children of israel that started talking mm -hmm. fear and based on what they saw they you know be caleb i speak a spirit of faith over you i speak a spirit of faith over you sophia that the spirit of faith that's in you will open up and will, will rise up and out of your mouth you will only speak what thus saith the lord that you will say i'm well able to do this i am well able to do to yeah. go here i am well able to make this happen i'm well able to step in this god be saying begin to speak how you are able to do it you are able you have what it takes mm -hmm. glory to god hallelujah glory hallelujah, hallelujah. What, who, who up there uh let's see we've got we've got tasha tasha you know uh tasha is from christ our healer christ our healer uh -huh. <laughs> christ our savior sister. oh we've got more Cynthia than enough there. more uh sister cynthia um, sister Cynthia, sister Cynthia, <laughs> sister Cynthia, sister Cynthia, sister oh Cynthia. Okay, I don't know. <laughs> that was not a prophetic song. That was not a prophetic song. <laughs> It was me, Paul yes. Thompson. Uh, I'm trying to be Gilligan Allen. Yeah. Listen, please don't. 
<laughs> listen here. Listen here. Ah. Listen here. Hmm. I just want to say this. I don't know a whole, whole lot about your situations all the time. Uh, I, you know, I do know maybe one or two things, but I heard, hmm. uh, I heard God say, you don't owe nobody no explanation. Ah. I don't Jeez. know what that means. But Ooh. Cynthia uh, Roper, God said you don't owe no one an explanation. Please don't sing it. Explanation. No. Okay, that, all right. Yeah, yeah, didn't end on a good note. No, you, God okay. says you don't owe nobody an explanation. Ah, Jesus. Whatever that means. I'm, I'm going to say exactly what I, I felt, what exactly what I heard, and, and, and you run with it. Uh, you, God says you don't owe no one an, exa uh, an, uh, 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 an, an, an explanation. He said you obey him mm. and you do what he called you to do and you you owe no one an explanation. I see, hey, huh? Yeah, Google shot. Make him no bro, Bokoshka Bonga. I'm a CJ, a CJ, a ton of Matoko. I see you, I see you turning your back and walking away and wiping your hands with it and being done with it and just saying that enough's enough. And so, so God says, don't look back. You don't owe nobody an explanation. Just wipe your hands with it, shake the dust, and go by your way and obey Him. Hallelujah. That's what the Lord says. You hear me? That's what the Lord said. Who else up here? I don't know in case we got a word. In case All we right, got a word for somebody. Uh, Sister Linda was up here. Sister Linda. Linda. What, yeah, Sister Linda, Linda you go to the church? Yeah. Glory, hallelujah. Yes. You know, uh, you know, I, Sister Linda, you need to make sure oh, no, no, that no, you no, check no. us out with Mayor on Married with Benefits oh, uh, oh, every Thursday. You know, yeah. because we be talking about everything. I mean, uh, everything and all that. Uh, because I know your marriage and your family is so important to you. Your marriage is so important to you, and it's important. Uh, it's important to God. It's important. Your family is important to you. Your business is important to you. you all that's important to you. Uh, my, 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 my. But I, but I just, I don't know why but when i was saying that i just felt in my spirit you there's some things have been slipping though some things mm -hmm. has been slipping sister linda there's some mm -hmm. things that has been slipping and 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 it's important oh, it's God. important for you to get back in faith like you're supposed to be you know mm -hmm. there you know we can get we can get busy in yeah. life that we that, i mean it happens to us a lot yes. it, it, it happens uh, like you got oh let's uh, get back in here let's get yes. we, we know let's get back like we're supposed to be thing. and and and, and, and thing. there's some things that's been trying to slip and there's some things the enemy's mm. been trying to distract you. Gosh, and there's been a lot of stuff that's been trying to go on. I, I hear the word busy. I hear the word busy. And there's things that's been trying to busy you and go and, 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 and busy you and everything and get you off of and get you off of uh off of off of your faith and get you off of that word. But I'm telling you, your your victory is in the word. Your victory is in is in uh is in what God is in what God called you to do. I'm telling you, sister uh sister Linda, you are uh, the thing that God started working in you even at global with uh, with you prophesying and opening your mouth and declaring the ah, ha, 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 the word I hear him says I, I hear him says I hear him saying this read Ezekiel 37 yeah Ezekiel 37 what was that Ezekiel 37 about the dry bones and, and God says God says begin to prophesy over your life begin yes. to prophesy over your family begin to mm. prophesy over your yes. business Glory. begin to prophesy over your situation begin to prophesy over it. I'm yeah. telling you oh I, you know God, God started God. and did started doing God. something God. in the God. area God. of uh, in the area of, of the prophetic in your life you remember you remember mm -hmm. and, and God yes. says God says he's not done healing with you and the prophetic. yeah the healing and the prophetic. he's not done with you and God says I heard him and in my spirit just say tell her to prophesy to her mm. situation to read over Ezekiel Ooh. 37 and begin to prophesy That's to us yeah mm -hmm. stop asking God mm. stop going to God and talking to God about it God says begin to prophesy about it begin to mm. prophesy to it begin to mm -hmm. say to it what you want it to see I mean what you want to see begin to say what you want to happen over the situation prophesy yeah. to it oh glory to God mm -hmm. that's what I heard about it what mm. you, you got glory anything? to God Glory to God. I just see that God wants you. Now, listen, I don't know where you go now, where you attend or what's going on. Uh, actually, none of that is, is even relevant right now. Ezekiel but I do 37. hear that the Lord wants you to stay connected to us. There mm. is a connection because there is still uh, an impartation of healing that God wants to manifest in your life. And it will it's it's uh, it's I mean, it's it's a matter of life or death. 
not just for your household, but I see in your family and those that you are in contact with, even on a regular, that God wants to cause that, that healing to begin to build. Mm -hmm. So you've got to make sure you maintain that connection, restore connection with us somehow. Stay in, stay in touch. I know you're up here a lot. Continue to do that because, and I know that you have sown and we, we praise God for that. So uh, protect the connection, protect that. All right. It's, it's important that you protect that because there is healing that's coming to you in such a manifestation that God wants to begin to bring it. Whether you, you get that heat in your hands, you begin that heat to get that heat in your hands and that you become sensitive to the spirit of the Lord in the area of healing. And God will cause things to happen that even when people come around you, you begin to, to get that healing. You begin to uh, recognize it because one of your hands, like it started happening with you, one of your hands starts getting hot and that your hands, I see that even uh, God can bring it. We have people that uh, it happens in minister Ashley and it used to happen in another sister uh, at the church as well, that she, her hands would get oily. That God wants to cause something that people used to see back in the old days, the same way that, that my husband listens to the, to the old preachers and the old prophets and those that worked and uh, operated in healing in, in such a way that God wants to restore that and stir that up in you. Mm -hmm. It's not just uh, the new thing that's going on. It's something from old that God wants to, uh, to cause to manifest in your life mm -hmm. and use you in that area of healing. So you've got to really uh, take a dive into that and cause your faith so that that's why you really need to get make sure you're planted and that your your feet that you're, you're you're standing stable and firm in the word in that area and uh, watch this just overflow uh, happen in your household Ezekiel. and in your in your children. So Ezekiel, Ezekiel thirty seven. Yes, it's important. That's for you. you read mm. that and then and build your faith because yeah. I just like uh, God told yeah. him to prophesy and remember he mm. told he told he told he told the the bones the dry bones yes. hear ye the word of the Lord yes and God says begin to prophesy the word of the Hallelujah. Lord in your house over your house yes. at Lord night God. in the morning when you walk Hallelujah. walk through your house walk around prophesy to the house prophesy yes. to the pictures prophesy yes. to your daughter's huh. pictures your son's pictures yes. Chad's pictures your uh, your, your yes. whole family pictures yes. prophesy to ah. prophesy to the house yes, prophesy yes. to your family prophesy yes. to your business Glory. prophesy i'm telling you mm. I, I just see it as you prophesy your brother i see it prophesy prophesy Hallelujah. prophesy glory, glory to, god. to god prophesy prophesy it glory to god i'm telling glory. you I, I i i saw ashley said that um yeah that early's phone was having yeah, issues so I miss, watching with yeah her. we missed you the other day uh sister early Yesterday. we hear from you we didn't yes. know what was going on we thought That's you left right. the church and said forget about us or something like that i was up there crying I'm like, what's up with Miss Early? Why she didn't come to church? I had a. I he thought, was. He I'm was like, very concerned. What's going concerned. on? What's yes. going on, Miss Early? I mean, what I was waiting Lord? for you. But Miss Early, Miss Miss Early, Miss Early, Miss Early. Be not weary in well doing. Uh, Evangelist Early. The Bible says, "Be not weary in well doing." I hear the Lord saying, "Be mm. not weary in well doing." If things mm. may not be happening as fast as you want, but God says, "There's things going. There, there's there's mm. uh, there's activity going on in by, right. behind the scenes. God. The things you're trying to." To get accomplished and work on even when it comes down to your health things may not be working as fast as yeah, you want it to work but okay. god says keep on the keep the good work up yes. uh, be not weary in well doing mm -hmm. he god's going to give ah. you and he's going to give you a diet god's going to begin to tell you and yeah. show you what not to drink what not to eat he's going to begin to do it and god mm -hmm. said also oh, he cool. says also he is going to strengthen you to do what he said so god says don't be Ooh. weary in well doing because you're going to in due season you're going to see things change Ooh, and there's going to be things changing that. drastically but at Ooh. first it, it seemed like there's a fight there's a push but keep on keep on pressing mm. keep on pressing be not weary in well doing because God says God says your God says your due season is gonna bust yes. forth it has to come due season yes. must come yes so be not weary in well doing God. because God oh. is gonna bring healing God is gonna bring healing uh no yes. he, he, he ah. has healed you but he's gonna manifest he's gonna yes. manifest it in your body uh he's gonna manifest it even in your knees he's gonna manifest 
manifested even in your li- I see I see in your hips in mm-hmm. her hips God's yes, going yes, I, I don't knees. know God, I, I, I just I don't know much about your health conditions but I know right. God want to do something in your hips and God want to do something I know in your knees and so you follow him I and be not weary and well doing because mm-hmm. because God God honor God is honoring you as you honor your health and you honor him in your health that's right that's make right. sure so your key is obedience listen whenever God gives you a word or something like that then he gives you he sends after that he sends instruction so that you are able to do what it is that he has said mm-hmm. is, is coming to your life or has mm-hmm. come when he gets it. Then he gives you the instructions yeah. that will cause you to be able to hold on to it. We're going to talk to you more after this. So it's, it's, I mean, it's pertinent that you get with us uh, because there is more that God wants to give you because I see you, I'm seeing you in your future, woman of God. And you don't look like you look right now. Mm. Hallelujah. I see you. I remember when I used to see me and I said, what in the world? How do I get to that? Because it seemed like it was impossible for me to get to that, but I'm beginning to look like what I saw. It ain't over. God ain't finished. Glory. Hallelujah. But I see it. And you're getting to a place. You're going to get to that place. Hallelujah. So I see you in your future. And you look different than you look now. And you are not by yourself. Hallelujah. Prophesy. I see somebody standing Prophesy. by your side. Glory to God. And he's going to know how to get in line with it. Glory to God. And he ain't sick. And he ain't decrepit. And he ain't broke down. He's a man that's on the move. A man of God. Hallelujah. Don't settle. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I feel it because it, I mean, yeah, you know, because I, yeah, I'm very demonstrative and indicative. That's how I feel because I, when I start, I start feeling it and I get like, uh, hallelujah. Ah. I don't know if you still up here, but hello. Oh, glory. But I, but then, hey, um, but then, hey, pastor, my cousin, Jessica's watching. Yes, Jessica. Jessica, I got, Ah. I I got Ah. one word for you. That I heard when I saw mm. that, and that word was submit. <laughs> ah, I know it. I know it don't sound all fascinating, mm. but I had, I heard one word that was submit. Uh huh. That that a lot of other stuff will change as you submit. That um a lot of other things will get in line as you Ooh, submit. Lord. And so God, I just hear God say submit. And you know when they call about submit, it's talking about submitting to Him. Submit to God, resist the devil, and He will mm-hmm. flee. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know you submit mm-hmm. to God. You know mm-hmm. if you be willing and obedient, oh, you will God. eat the good of the land. Mm, so in your submission, in your obedience, I just, I just, mm. uh, I just, I just come against the, uh, the, the, I just come against that de- uh, the de- demons. I come against the demonic activity that's been trying to come against you and been trying to, uh, and been trying to, been trying to block you and block uh, your submission and block certain mm. things in your life. Uh, but God wants you to submit to Him. As you submit to Him, your way to resist the devil is by you submitting to God. And so I just hear the Lord just saying, "Submit." I just hear Him saying, "Submit." Don't run from a deeper mm-hmm. commitment. Don't run yes. from a deeper commitment, mm-hmm. but submit to him because, he, and, and, and as you submit to him, uh, that's you lining up. And I see as you submit to him, not only you lining up, but then everything else will begin to line up. Mm-hmm. Glory to God. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, so, so submit. Evangelist early, God says you begin to prophesy to your bones. <laughs> prophesy to your literal bones. Prophesy to your, listen, God tell, told, God is telling me to tell everybody, listen, you're opening, you open your mouth and prophesy. You remember Remember God. Uh, you remember um, in in oh, the in the God. scriptures, they was uh, it was they were folks prophesying, and they came to Moses, yeah. and they said, Moses, this folk over there prophesying, and then uh, they thought Moses was gonna be mad, and Moses was like, man, I wish everybody was a prophet. I wish everybody was prophesying. Listen, God says all can prophesy. Yeah. All can prophesy. Oh. You hear me? You don't have to have a. You don't have to be a prophet to prophesy. The 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 That's thing right. about prophecy right. is you got to realize this before mm-hmm. you understand. How you prophesy, yeah, yeah. Thus saith the Lord. Ha, yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to realize the word is the more sure word of prophecy. Yeah. So yeah. when you open your mouth and declare the word and prophesy the word, yeah. that's a form of prophecy. That's a form yes. of prophetic yes. unction. Prophetic yes. unction. That's part of the prophetic. The part yes. of the prophetic is you opening your mouth and prophesying the word of the Lord. What did Ezekiel prophesy in uh, in uh, Ezekiel 37? He prophesied the word of the Lord. He said he told he said. Uh, Oh, 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 valley of dry bones. Oh, dry mm-hmm. bones. Hear ye the, the word, word of, of the Lord. Lord. And watch and watch. God spoke it to him, but God wrote it to us. 
Yes, God yes, wrote his yes. word to us. All oh, we need to do that. is get his word that he wrote mm -hmm. to us because as God speaking to me, every promise is yes and amen. Right. So I can get the promise and I can open my mouth and oh, prophesy yeah. to my situation, prophesy the promise over my bones, prophesy mm -hmm. the promise over my family, prophesy the promise over my money, prophesy the promise over my day and you need to prophesy over your day. You need to prophesy mm -hmm. over your day because the enemy wants you to get Corona. He wants mm. you to try to get some virus. You need to prophesy that yeah. I will not. I am immune. Right. I, you need to That's prophesy right. over no your day that no evil will befall you. Yeah. You need to prophesy. I am not of this not world. Not. You need to prophesy. Hey, glory. glory to God. I am redeemed. Glory to God. Prophesy to your body. Your body may be going through something and you may be feeling like you're hurting and all that. Prophesy to your body. Mm -hmm. That's why you, you I said, I, I think everybody need to listen to me when I'm teaching and or, or, especially about faith. I love because it. we got a diff, we, we think, we think, uh, we think, you know, we got to feel it. No, 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 yeah. no, no, no. Your healing is not based on how uh, did you feel it? Uh, your mm -hmm. healing is based on the word of God. That's right. The, when you stand on the word that by his stripes you heal right then you are healed yeah, right because then. he didn't right heal then. you now god didn't heal you now yeah. god isn't didn't heal you. he healed you years ago yes he healed you then first peter 2 24 says by his stripes we who we, we were here were. yes isaiah 55 isaiah 53 verse 5 says we are healed uh-huh so we were healed back then. Yes. So you ah. are healed because you were healed. So therefore you are healed. Yeah. So you look at your knees and you say, knee, you are healed because you yes. were, you were healed. So therefore you are healed. Right. You look at your body and you say you were healed. Therefore body, you are healed. Oh. So pain, you get leave my body. You don't supposed to be here. You prophesy to it. Mm -hmm. Prophesy to your day. Prophesy to it. God told me to tell everybody, uh, do Ezekiel 37. Now, that was a yeah. specific thing for you, Sister Linda, about yeah, that, about it. your family there and everything. Uh, but pro everyone, you need to stand in, in, in the, on the word and prophesy yes. to it. Prophesy. Stand on the edge of your life and declare and mm -hmm. let, let, the, let the word of God echo out of your spirit through, mm -hmm. through, the, through the halls of your life and let it touch yeah. every area of your life and let the word saturate your life and Amen. declare and prophesy what thus Amen. saith the Lord. Amen. Listen, I still have a, a word for you, Jessica. Jessica. If you're still up here. Uh, when my husband was, was prophesying. No more songs. Okay. I got a word. But it's not like you were going to sing Spider-Man. Mm. Jessica, Jessica. Da, 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 Jessica. Okay, anyway. But I heard a word. Everybody's doing challenges. I heard the Lord say he's giving you a 30-day challenge to submit. Submit to his ways. Submit your ways to his ways. He's giving you a 30-day challenge. And at the end of the 30-day challenge, you will be able to look back and see what has changed and think how things line up from your household to a work situation to living situation, everything. Watch it begin to line up up but you got a 30-day challenge and in that 30 days listen submit yourself to god's will to the word of god begin to let go of some things and some people some things you know right off the bat to begin to cut out you already know because you've already been sensing and feeling because you know some things that are wrong you know some stuff already that needs to be corrected as you begin to get in line with that stuff and make those efforts watch everything come into alignment you got 30 days so whenever you start you initiate god this is the beginning of my 30-day challenge so if i were you i'd get right on it mm -hmm. and 30 days from if you start today 30 days from today get you a calendar get you a notebook get you something and mark it off count it down and be serious about it if you need some help with getting that up uh listen ashley can tell you how to get in contact with us and we'll talk with you and help you and coach you in that all right we, we'll be on the sidelines coaching you but you got to do it you got to do it and that's all i had to say amen well you know we we uh we believe that we, 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 we would love to help you out in faith and everything else well but but I remember we got to get ready to go sure. though but yes. remember you know prophesy, prophesy. to your situation they prophesy, mm -hmm. you know, um, when you even, when you cross reference, when in Ezekiel, when he talk, when he tells them to prophesy mm -hmm. and speak the word of the Lord, it, it cross reference to, you know, Matthew 21, 21, where it talks about, you know, having what you say, basically believing it, believing what you receive and everything. And, and we have to begin to realize that we don't have to, we're not subject 
to live under the conditions of this day. Mm -hmm. We are we are liberated um, and, and we have the ability to live in, and have days of heaven on earth. Mm -hmm. You can have heaven in this crazy situation. Yes, you can. There's there. Listen, yes. there is no there is nothing that the world can throw at us that can negate the promises of God. Um, I love it because the scriptures talk about when we uh, the whole uh, we'll talk about Holy Spirit. He mm -hmm. is uh, the earnest expectation yes. of our hope. Yes. Yes. He is an earnest expect of our inheritance. And so 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 that means that we're earnest. It literally means he like, you know, it's, he's, yeah. the yeah. he's the guarantee. He's the guarantee of our the, future. Almost like a down payment. Yeah, He's the down payment of heaven. Yeah. Holy Spirit. He's <laughs> the down payment of heaven. So what happened oh. was. He gave so Holy Spirit to you, put the Holy Spirit in you, and gave you Holy Spirit. Uh, and, and, and so we're supposed to be living in, uh, in, in days of heaven That's on earth right. because of the Holy Spirit. Yes. And then he gave us his word. Oh that God. whatever we bound on earth is bound in heaven and whatever we loose on earth is loose in heaven. in heaven and that we only oh, allow in our yes. life what is allowed in heaven all of heaven is and backing so us up. we we get god gives us a guarantee yes. uh of the holy spirit to say you know what i'm y'all going to heaven and i'm, I'm gonna bring <laughs> you to heaven with me but you know what until you come here's your earnest expectation here's yes. your, here's yes. your earnest money here's your down payment your yes. down payment is holy spirit here's your guarantee and, and so we so we can live and we can it's enjoy our life and we can have a good life and enjoy our yes. life even while all this stuff going on. That's right. And so today, as uh, we put up there, Monday with the prophets, because oh, we were just flowing. Amen. I wanted. I thought we was going. I, I thought we was going to do more flowing and talking about the word <laughs> and, and and revelation of the word in that sense. But we flowed and we did more of, of exhorting you yes. and uh, and declaring the word. And a lot of times we don't see everybody up here. Sometimes yeah. and sometimes people get on and off. But we prophesy and we declare to who we who who we see and uh, and mm -hmm. and and as I see you, I, I, you know, as it comes up, we'll yeah. open our mouth and we'll declare what God yeah, is saying. The word to you. Glory to God. Listen, I want to give you um, just a challenge as well. There are others that may get on because we were expecting to go one way, but God caused things to change based on who was on. So he knew that you would be on and he knew what he wanted to get to you. So that's why he led us that way. And that's how that happened. If you need a word from the Lord or you know someone that does, listen, I challenge you inbox us right here on on this page on Paul and Tara Thompson Ministries inbox us uh, invite someone to, to join to get on to like the page and and get our information and inbox us as well and as the Lord leads now we're not gonna make up stuff but as the Lord leads if he gives us a word from you if you need a word from the Lord if there's a certain situation you need some you need a divine intervention you need some agreement inbox us send us a message on this page and we will uh, we will do that we will follow suit as God leaves as God leads and we'll make contact with you and let you know what thus saith the Lord or give you will we'll coach you as well on these things so it happens as God leads based on who is available and who who presses in so you do that and if God gives us something for you we will release that we're not gonna I'm, I, I listen I promise you we won't make up anything we don't do that but if there is a word from the Lord, whatever God gives us that or downloads that, we, we can make contact with you and let you know that and give you what thus saith the Lord or add that agreement with you and amen or tell you what God is saying. All right, it's 1201. We got to get up out of here. Listen, thank Hope you, you for watching. you saw the giving information. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being a part of this uh, Monday with the prophets. Listen, uh, uh, God... Um, is 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 getting us out of our comfort zone. Yes, and he's getting you out of your comfort yes. zone too. Um, that, that's a, that's that. a word for some of y'all right yes, there. Yes, believe that, that's that. That's a word for some. You hear me? That's a word for some of y'all. Yes, that's a word right there. God is getting you out of your comfort zone. He's Ooh. taking you out of your comfort zone. That's a word for somebody. Yes. But he did it for us because we've been. I, I was always comfortable at at Windsor. Yes. Windsor, we had Sunday morning service uh. at Windsor Village, so I was always comfortable there because he had a lot of space, and yes. I love having a lot of space. And it was no hassle. Mm -hmm. You just pay your money, you set up, and you.
you do what you gotta do. You don't have to worry about nobody hassling you at all. And um, and so I was, you know, pretty comfortable with it. And but I'm um, doing the coronavirus stuff. God began to shake it change and begin to change it. And they're not doing rentals right now. They may do it in August, but I don't know. Maybe. So so we don't know. But what we're doing now is every Sunday morning we're at 555 South State Ave on the third floor in the auditorium mm -hmm. um, at 11 o'clock, doing it virtually online as well as we got a room and we got a few people that can come and you can still come. You know, Sunday yeah. you could have came. You come on out and see That's there right. may be room for everything you. is sanitized with the, uh, the top of the line sanitizer and you can wear your mask if you feel more comfortable we space everyone the best we can so i just yeah, want we to have know it's, it's a safe environment we have environment. sanitizer at the door Sanit yes. <laughs> sanitizer yeah i got, I got hand, hand sanitizer. sanitizer at the door and, and the we make sure people down we make clean. sure people are you know yes. set you know not all up on each other right and yeah we we we, we clean literally everything every By time hand. we go in there yes so so we do all every of that time. and uh because we got to stay safe and sanitized yes. as i'm immune i believe i'm immune Amen. however i'm gonna still use the natural wisdom That's just right. like that lady she stopped getting sugar because and god healed mm -hmm. her and so so i'm doing the natural but i i, I believe that global and the embassy at global harvest Amen. that when we step in the embassy of global that you are free from it glory to god Hallelujah. and we're gonna but we're gonna do our natural part and sanitize everything and right. you hear me so That's so right. come on out on a sunday morning um partners just listening do not abandon sunday mornings you hear me ah. get there on sunday mornings we can still work it out so everybody can be in there get in there on sunday mornings you cannot miss yes. it we're working on we some things now there. we're working on some things and so what we're yes. doing now is we have we have money that we've been putting aside anyway but yes. we're working aggressively to make sure we have enough money for the building as we find it you know mm -hmm. the bill our building fund we're doing is by faith <laughs> and it's by faith because we're not because what we're doing is we're, we're, we're doing this saying, Lord, we're believing you and we're positioning ourselves and making sure that when whenever we find whatever is is for our headquarters, that we can step and do it for right now. Right. And it, it, what, it may not be the final thing, but it may be whatever for right now. Mm -hmm. And so we will make sure we have the funds for that. So what we're doing is everybody at Global, all the partners, mm -hmm. they're giving a thousand dollars, you know. Yeah. And so what, the way they're doing it is this. They may not have a thousand dollars right now. Yeah. In their hands but what they're doing is they're giving above their tithing offerings and uh you know one sunday they may give 20 towards the building fund and they may give 50 the next sunday 100 the next sunday and they then they're keeping track of it and so that when it adds up to a thousand dollars boom they hit their yes. goal okay. and so they're sowing seed that seeds yes. on and so that we're doing that and so what i'm saying is like we started it two weeks ago and then we and now we're at fourteen hundred and eighty eight dollars uh not yes. counting yesterday's offering um, so now we're we're uh, now we're we're at like fifteen hundred and something probably yeah. because of yesterday's offering. But um, but but we started this this building fund a couple of weeks ago, and so and so um, so if you want to help us with the building fund. I want you to sow your seed. The given information is under um, uh, Denisa, Burns. Denisa Burns comments. You can give um, towards the building fund or you can give just generally if you want to just give generally. But let us know what it's for and we'll put it for that. OK, we are believing God for a building. If some of y'all out there say, hey, hey, you may be a pastor and about be like, oh, I got a building over here. Let us know if you know about a building. If you have if you know about a building, let us know and everything. Mm -hmm. You know, we're working together. So if you feel led to give, I want to challenge you. I want to I want to put it out there to you. Help us as we position ourselves to uh, for for uh, for our headquarters. I mm -hmm. am telling you, I mean, like I said, it may not be it, it may be like uh, it may be. It's, you know how you as you believe in for your house, you um, you may be in a little apartment and then or you believe for your house and you may be living with somebody. And then all mm -hmm. of a sudden you then uh, get a, get an apartment, you know, for you and the kids yeah. before you go to your house. And so we may we may have we may have to go. We may not go into the final thing right now yeah. for our for our Indianapolis headquarters Amen. because God going to do God. You know, God, God has other places now. The vision is expanding. He has other places he wants us to impact. And so, uh, so the oh Indianapolis headquarters, uh, we, we, we believe in God for that. Uh, mm -hmm. and so, so wherever it is, we just want to make sure that when the time comes, that when we find it, we have it to jump in there. 
So yeah. if you feel led, if you, if you feel led in your spirit to help us out with the headquarters and to help us out to be ready, then make sure you sow your seed and let us know what it's for yeah. and we will put it aside. Or you may say, hey, I bless y'all, huh? this is for y'all just to be blessed or however it is. Whenever you give, let us know what you're giving for and Amen. we will put it for that. Yeah. So thank you for watching. Sow your seed. Believe God for your harvest. As you sow your seed, we're going to believe God for your harvest in yeah. Jesus' name. Yeah. Don't, 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 don't forget that <laughs> even though we are we are, we are, we are saved and we are have immunity in the name of Jesus as ambassadors even though that um even though we are protected by the blood of Jesus you still use natural wisdom That's right. use your wisdom wear your mask you know make sure you carry sanitizer with you so when you go in the store and come out you can sanitize your hands make sure you do that because you want to be able to fellowship and have church and go places and and, and be able to have it and you know uh, and, and make sure everybody's safe you know That's right. and so but in in the midst of it all stand on the word That's you right. are immune you are an ambassador you're a citizen yeah. of heaven and you have immunity and you stand on it every day every day i stand every on it when day. i leave out yes. i stand on the thing every day for me my family my grandchildren Truth. our Truth. mothers and i stand on it for the embassy of global harvest and the partners for them and their families in jesus name and i declare it in jesus name yes. hallelujah Amen. so you do that and you stand Never on the word advancing. and watch what happens glory to god yes. and so don't forget about the announcement and everything that's going on. Thank y'all for watching. Y'all be blessed. Yes. Uh, y'all be blessed in Jesus' name. Glory to God. Yes. And remember this. This is a word that some of y'all need to hear. And that's this. He's getting you up out of your comfort zone. Yeah. Hallelujah. Believe that. Believe that. Uh, <laughs> that's right. This is Paul and Tara Thompson. Thompson. And, and with God, God all, all things, things are possible. What? <laughs> that's right. Woo, woo, woo. Bless us. Bye-bye.